to Grandma Bee's Busy Life. I'm Brenda, and some of my favorite people call me Grandma Bee. This video is a collaboration with Cynthia at Our Big's Adventure. She's put together a virtual potluck. We can't have potlucks right now, so we're doing it virtually. In the month of February, every day a different YouTuber will bring you a potluck recipe. And I'll link to Our Big's Adventure in the description box. If you're coming to my channel from that virtual potluck, welcome, I'm so glad to have you. Please consider subscribing to help my very new channel get up and off the ground. And if you're coming back to me, and this is not your first video, thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad to have you again. I'm going to be making grown-up mac and cheese. Now I chose grown-up mac and cheese because when my kids were little and we went to a potluck, I knew there wasn't gonna be much there that my kids would eat. So I always took homemade mac and cheese and it was always a hit, but I, I'm an empty nester now and I don't have kids at home and I make my mac and cheese a little bit differently and I still take mac and cheese to potlucks, but I take grown up mac and cheese. So let's get started. The first thing I did was boil the pasta. I use rotini pasta because, well, it's a little more grown up than elbow pasta, isn't it? So that's one pound of rotini pasta. I've cooked it and then drained it and rinsed it with cold water so it won't stick together. I have four cups of shredded cheese. You can use any kind that you'd like. I've got Kobe Jack and Monterey, um, mozzarella, but I just use whatever I happen to have. That's eight slices of bacon cooked and chopped up. I have, this is eight ounces of green chilies two green onions chopped up, I use the whites and the greens, and then about a tablespoon of chopped parsley. All right, in the saucepan I have one stick of melted butter, and I like to use equal parts butter and flour, so one stick is half a cup, so I have half a cup of flour, and I'm just making a roux, and I'm just gonna stir it until the flour is cooked, but while this is cooking, I'm also gonna add my spices. I have one teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. I'm just going to mix that all in with the flour and the butter. It just helps wake up the spices and, and give them a nice, great flavor. My flour is all cooked. It's nice and bubbly all the way throughout. So now I'm going to add milk. I don't measure, but it does end up being about two cups of milk. I like to just mix a little in until it gets um, evenly mixed and then I mix a little more. It'll continue to thicken as I add the milk so I just add it slowly and stir it in and then add more and stir it in. So right now I've added about one cup and I'm gonna add more milk, but right now, I want to add my cheese, and I'm gonna add the whole four cups in, but I'm just gonna do a little at a time, just to get it mixed in well. This cheese sauce is so delicious. All right, a little bit more. And like I said, you can use any kind of cheese you'd like. Colby Jack and mozzarella is what I had in my fridge, but I have used all different kinds. I've even used like Swiss cheese and Parmesan and cheddar, all kinds. And I just happened to find in my fridge just a very little bit of this Parmesan left, so I'm just gonna dump that in. It's the cheap old Parmesan, but it'll still add to the flavor. Once you get the cheese stirred in, it's not fully melted yet, but now's the time to add another cup of milk. I add about a half at a time. Mix it in and then add the other half. It just mixes up easier this way. Now I do have this on a medium high heat and I'm just trying to melt the cheese and get everything mixed together. Okay, I'm gonna add that last half a cup. All right, the cheese is all melted and it's a nice 
creamy deliciousness. And now to the cheese sauce, I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients except for my pasta. I'm gonna dump in my eight ounces of green chilies. If this is your first time making it, you might wanna try just one can of four ounces of green chilies. I know we like lots of green chilies, so I put in eight ounces. And then my two green onions, my tablespoon of chopped parsley, and eight slices of bacon that's been cooked and chopped. And I just get it all mixed in. Oh, it's starting to bubble. Look at this, oh, so good. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. All right, because it's a potluck, I'm definitely gonna cook it in a foil pan. I hate when I go to a potluck and I have to remember to bring my pan home. So I always, when I go to a potluck, put it into a foil pan. And I'm just gonna lightly spray the sides and the bottom of this. All right, now it's really, really simple. I'm just gonna put my noodles in the pan. I'm gonna put about half in and then pour some of the sauce on and then put the other half on top so that that sauce is in all of the little grooves of the pasta. All right, the rest of the pasta. Again, this is one pound of rotini. I like the rotini because it seems more grown up then elbow pasta and I like that the cheese gets in all the little grooves of the rotini. All right the last step before we put it in the oven is to sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on top. This isn't going to take long to bake. About probably 30 minutes because it's already hot. We just want this cheese on top to get melted and bubbly and then it'll be ready. It's out of the oven. It just took about 20 minutes and look at that deliciousness. The cheese is all melted and slightly browned, loaded with bacon and chilies and green onions and parsley. Deliciousness. I've dished me up a delicious bowl of grown up mac and cheese. I'm gonna try it. So good. All right. Very, very delicious. Look at the cheese on top. It is the best mac and cheese. We absolutely love it at our house. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video. Please subscribe, like, leave me a comment below. All of that helps my channel. Thank you so much for sticking with us and, th and don't forget to check Our Big's Adventure. I'll have that linked in the description box below. See you again soon.